just in. Why IPOP is finished in Nigeria, as Ayi Dokubo says. The news totals. The leader of the Niger Delta People Salvation Force, NDPSF, Azai Dokubo, on Monday tackled the leader of proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, Unam Dikanu, for denying giving order for Monday sit at home. Recall that the Zenito representing Abia South. Zenitoria district in the Zenit, Eyinaya Abavibe, on Saturday, bemoaned the effect of insecurity in Southeast, saying it is a tragedy. He lamented that every Monday sit at home, which has been cancelled by IPOP, has crippled the economy of the zone as hoodlums hijacked the and enforced it on citizens. Why lamenting how businesses is being crippled as a result of sit at home? Abaribe revealed that Onam Dekano, when visited at the Department of State Security (DSS), denied giving order for Monday sit at home. Reacting to Abaribe's revelation in a Facebook Live, Dokubo mocked IPOP for being in Charles. Charles, pardon, you, referring to IPOP, are already finished. I told you people, not be by chance, you are already finished. You have not come out of your shock. First, he, Kano, the night that is not IPOP, you, IPOP and Unam the Kano supporters, tried to justify it. Now, he has denied sit at home. Good. So, who are the people doing sit at home? After all the destructions, Unam Dekano has shown his true color that he is not in any struggle. He set up a limited liability company, no director, nothing, Dokubo said. Dokubo who is the leader of the Niger Delta People's Salvation Force, has tackled the IPOB, saying that why IPOB is finished in Nigeria, that IPOB is finished. Firstly, Mazunam Dekanu came up and said he is not IPOB. Again, he came up and said that he is not the one that gave out the order for Monday Sitatu. Eyinaya Apabibe, who is a senator representing the Abia South Zenitoria District, said him and two other bishops and two other people went visiting Namdekano at the DSS office and to ask him because of the economy of the zone has gone down and the saying that and saying the insecurity in the southeast is a tragedy that what can they do that this Monday sit at home is affecting and the IPOB leader Mazunam Dekano denied that he did not give the order for Monday sit at home and those Monday sit at home has been going out going on for your while now whereby those people don't go to work don't open their businesses banks are not opened commercial vehicles do not move everything is shut down in the southeast and now the high pop leader is denying the fact that he never said that. Remember that whenever Mazuna Bekano is going to the court, is going to appear in the court, he gave an order via his lawyers and spokesman that every one of them should sit at home and recall that before they had 
a week sit at home later weeks of sit at home and after it was only monday sit at home he has denied the fact that he never asked the southeastern to sit at home every monday now this is making azayi dokubo voice out that if the IPOP leader can do like this, can deny like this. That means IPOP has been finished in Nigeria. Undam Dikanu has shown his true color that he is not in any way in the struggle. He is finished. Azari Dokubo, who attacked Undam Dikanu, IPOP again. The leader of the Niger Delta People's Salvation Force. Azayu Dokubo has once again tackled the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipub, and its leader, Unam Dekano. Dokubo faulted Ipub for saying it was behind the reported extradition of its leader from Kenya. Kano and Dokubo have been at loggerheads over the quest for Biafra, the very cause that unites them. The Cold War between them resulted in the formation of the Biafra Customary Government BCG, which Dokubo announced in March 2020 with himself as the head. Reacting on Sunday during a Facebook Live, Dokubo said, I pop said I was the one that sold them out, that I betrayed them. I'm not the one who said it. They are also the one that said, I betrayed their leader in Kenya. I don't know where Unam Dekanu was living. I don't know where he took off for. They said I was the person who gave him up. I now said I was the person. The next thing they said was, Ada Azari Dokubo was the person. Look at these idiots. What are you going to do to me? He further capital the group for being responsible for the constant closure of business in the southeast region as a result of the sit at home order. He said, IPOP was presented as a platform for reconciliation, but today it is not fighting for Biafra. Today, schools, businesses have been closed down. If people sit at home, it is their choice that they are afraid of you people. It is not because you people are powerful. They don't know you people are nothing. People are afraid of being killed. That's why they have continued to sit at home. Not because they love Unam Dekano. If there is adequate security by the government, why is there no sit at home in Portacot, Calabar, Uyo? It is because the government of those places are saying, don't ever come here. Very soon, Igbos will come out and say it is okay. These people can no longer go and do their businesses because they are scared of being killed. Hoodlums have hijacked this process of sitting down at home. What's your take on this? Thank you and God bless you.